What is going on YouTube? Today we're doing another like shopping spree and we'll go through exactly what I get because last time I did it, uh, you know, I showed you some of the things I eat like kangaroo and things like that and you could probably like implement some of that into your diet except I had no actual plan then like as like what my training was guided to and things like that but now for the last week I have I'm trying to lean out a bit, which I've already dropped um, a kilo over the one week, which is a good pace, I believe. And um, as well as increase my bench and squat and hopefully even deadlift. I haven't actually focused too much on deadlifts lately, but bench and squat for sure. So how I'm going about doing that is keeping my calories right up around maintenance. 3,200 is actually where my maintenance is right now, except cleaning it up a lot, You know, eating meat three or four times a day, uh, if possible, if I can spread my meals at that much. And uh, yeah, so I thought today would be a good one to go through, show exactly how I'm eating cleanish, Pre pretty much, pretty clean really. Just a few like, I'll have an up and go this morning. Um, Energize, there's more protein. But I mean, it's not that nice of food, but the macro is still pretty good. Um, food, it's a little drink, you know what I mean? Anyway, so. I'll run through everything, hopefully it turns out alright, and uh, yeah, hopefully going through this gives you some good ideas about what you can eat, or you know, what you can do to mix up your diet, because things can get pretty stale eventually. See you soon. Professional setup. What is going on YouTube? We are back. Bring the chair down a bit. And uh, as you probably cannot see, because it's out of frame, we're back with the groceries. The three bags here. And it cost me $120, but this is enough food to easily last for the week um, because I've already got fish and two kilos of chicken in the freezer. So keep that in mind. Some of this food I'm going to use it to make like stir fries and things like that. So that's all you need. This, some chicken and some fish, and it will last you for the week, no problem at all. It cost me $120, but it is pretty clean, good food. And uh, yeah, we'll start off with the first bag. So, as I just finished saying, pretty clean, good food. We got two bowls of cereal. This one is not good. It's just covered in sugar. But they're special, and it's going to be for those kind of cheat day um, mornings where, you know, just want a bowl of cereal, really. So, they're there, not going to go off, things like that. And I feel like, I'll firstly just say, I feel like the best thing to do when out shopping in order to save money in the long run is buy in buy in the sense of knowing what you can have in the future, if that makes any sense to you at all. So I know I'm not going to have them for at least a month, probably, and um, two months maybe. But I know that they're on special. They're probably not going to be on a deal like that again because it's getting close to Easter, a long weekend. That's why so I did my shopping, so some pretty good specials on. So I always buy in future. Say Coke's on special and you buy a 24-pack of Coke Zero like I do. If you can get two for whatever price, you can buy those two rather than, you know, waiting for the special run out, or if they're the super most, like, cheapest you, you've ever seen in a long time, buy, like, three or four and just save them. Like, that'll last you months and just put them to the side. As long as you're not one of those people that, like, if you've got food in the closet, you just keep eating. Like, you shouldn't be. You're into fitness, so you should be, like, tracking out what you're doing. But that's what, that's what I mean. Just buy for future, okay? So keep that in mind when you're shopping. Now I'll jump into, this is a new thing I'm trying, some lentils by this company here. There's a section in the, in the um, store that you should look for too. Is that a lighting bag? Uh, in the store, every store that is in Australia anyway has like a healthy section, gluten free, things like that. And this brand has a lot of products in there. Celebrate health, okay? So some lentils, I looked at the, um, I've never had them before, but I looked at the macros. I'll get my head out of it. Oh man, she doesn't focus. Now I'll read them out too. Per serving, 50 grams is three servings, 12 grams of protein, 0.7 grams of fat, and 13 grams of carbs. So I pretty much all protein, super good. And that same brand, the reason why I go to that section of the, you know, the store, is purely pretty much just for their stir fry sauces. Now they're a bit pricey. I think like two dollars something each compared to, you know, they're 174, yeah, 175 grams. So you can get a lot more for cheaper if you buy other like sugared, just loaded with shit stuff. But this is, the macros, are, you got three grams of carbs per serving. So good. Teriyaki. And they do honey mustard. 
and I'm gonna try Tuscan meatballs and I'll just grab some extra. So I grab like six of these. There's a few more in there. I grab some rice cakes and with it is some some uh, peanut butter that I'll get later. So this is a super good snack. Rice cakes, dip them in a bit of peanut butter. I'll measure the peanut butter out because you don't want to be having 50 grams, 100 grams of peanut butter. That'll be like major kill to your macros. And some just heat up rices if I can't be bothered cooking my big uh, bag of rice that you'll see soon. And I grab some Quest bars because when I'm working like four or five hour shifts, I have one of these in my pocket if I feel like it to finish off macros and uh, they're tasty. Everyone knows what Quest bars, 29 grams of protein, just a fiber, things like that. And that is the first bag. So we'll move on to the second. So as you can see, that one was pretty much just, you know, the stir fry sauce and things like that. Chicken's already in the fridge, I'll cook for that later tonight. And actually, oh, that reminds me, I'm gonna have to make a new Cooking with Brados episode two because uh, I've really changed how I go about uh, prepping my meals and things like that. And I feel like it has just made my life so much easier. Plus, it's really fun to make those episodes. If I've only ever done one, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And we'll move on to the second bag. So I found these out last week, tried them for the first time, just like, fell in love with them straight away. So last time I got one bag, this time I got three of the bitches. It is Chang's egg noodles. So they got 7.4 7 grams of protein and 40 grams of carbs each serving. So really good carb source and they taste really good too. Three packets of those. One packet will last you a week. So there's three weeks worth of noodles. And um, then we got my pineapple chunks. A couple of those just to snack on throughout the day. Two of those. Oh no, stuff's gonna start falling off the bed soon. Now here's the uh, peanut butter that I went with. Um, I went with Sanitarium brand instead of the other one that's just loaded with extra artificial stuff. This one, like I said, is the bottom, no artificials. So that's really good, crunchy, six grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. So again, don't go nuts with this and just load up your rice cakes with peanut butter because that can be a lot of calories in those. Then, as you would have seen if you watched last week's episode of the, this uh, shopping, kangaroo is my new like go-to meat. This time I mixed up kangaroo diced. That is the most protein out of all of them all. Per serving, 150 grams, right? Keep that in mind. 150 grams of kangaroo, 32 grams of protein, no f or 1.3 gram of fat, no carbs, just all protein. So two for $10 they do, so I've grabbed a diced, and you can mix and match, diced a hamburger, I think that was, then I've got a meatball, another hamburger in the bag right here. So there's 20 bucks of meat, and that will last me at least two weeks. Um, pair it with my, my chicken, you can't eat the one meat like all the time, it'll be like, you get sick of it so quick, so. Oh, and then we have, when I want to make wraps, some shredded cheese, got the uh, light version just to take out some of that unwanted fat. Our second bag done, moving on to the last one. Restacking all this is going to be a pain in the ass, but it's worth it, you know, get a video of it. Um, I actually have two packets of eggs already in the fridge, as well as a bag of egg whites depending on what my macros need. If I've got a lot of fat free, like I have, I've only had 20 of my 70 or 80 grams of fat for the day, I'm gonna use normal eggs. Otherwise, if I only need protein and my fat's already too high and it's getting towards, you know, the, it's not even the end of the day yet, I'm running out of fats, then I don't wanna blow it all with normal eggs, so I use egg whites. So I have both of those alternatives in the fridge and I put them on some wholemeal bread. You know, if I wanna have lunch or breakfast, you know, scrambled eggs on toast. Oh, okay, we have some more, that's a receipt, some more um, stir fries, I did not realize. I've got a lot of those. And then when it comes to salad, so I've got one capskin in the fridge. I use a four leaf little pre-made salad, super easy. Just chuck that in the bowl, chuck a capsicum on top, olives on top, and a bit of balsamic vinegar, fat-free one again. That's already in the fridge, ready to go. And I've got broccoli, I'll cook the broccoli up and eat that throughout the week. Super easy to cook. 
some raspberries to snack on. This is the first time I'm trying these. I was actually three dollars ninety, so they're not cheap. But I remember I used to love raspberries back in the day. So we sip them out of the way, yeah. And then here's my big rice that I was talking about. Easy, easy three weeks of rice there, I'd say. And on my eggs, sometimes I like putting on barbecue sauce. So I got the no added sugar one because. Some of those barbecue sauces absolutely get loaded with sugar and people just don't like take note of this, load up their scrambled eggs and realize they blew their macros on sauce that they, you know, didn't even count. So go for the sugar free ones. Well, no, you can't get sugar free. I don't think so. I couldn't see any, but that's no added sugar. Sweet potato to cook with. Again, bodybuilders diet, sweet potato and broccoli go to kind of side dishes. And then we have some bananas to wrap it off to eat in the morning or throughout the day whenever need some more carb sources. So that rounds up. There is my week's worth of food. Like I said, I've already got chicken and bassa fish, the cheapest one, um, in the freezer already. So I pair that with my kangaroo. There's enough meat for the week easily. And with all the other side stuff, rice, noodles, you know, sweet potato, that's gonna last me a week, no problem at all. Did cost me $120, like I said, a little pricey, but it's, you know, it's worth it if you wanna eat that little bit healthier, look after your body, it's gonna pay off in the long run. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this uh, edition of, you know, shopping, I don't even know what I call it, grocery shopping, um, was the most helpful to you. I feel like, you know, all right, this is probably one of the best I've done and I'll hopefully I'll explain everything well enough exactly how I use that certain type of food and when I eat it kind of thing. So, I will be making a cooking episode soon where hopefully I'll put all this to use and you get to see exactly how I go about preparing it all. So, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.